Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Tech Tuesday. So today I wanna to do a video on a product that I could only find two, maybe three videos on, and I'm actually surprised that it's not a little bit more popular. So in some of my previous Tech Tuesday videos, I explained why I switched over to the EOS R and my workflow some of the things that help me with my workflow. I'm a really, I'm like a run and gun since I do a lot of do-it-yourself videos. I just want to be able to hit record and do what I have to do and not have to reposition a whole bunch of things, including microphones. So I showed you the Rode Video Micro, but it's a directional microphone and I would have to, when I'm filming, in front of the camera like this, I could have it pointed towards me, but then when I go behind the camera and I'm trying to point something out, I'd have to flip around the microphone. And it was just annoying. This is, uh, uh, as you can see, I use a lav mic. This one is from Pico Gear. Uh, I believe it's called the Pico Stream. Without further ado, let's show you what I grabbed. So this is the microphone I grabbed. This is a directional microphone, but it has two microphones. So there's one facing one direction and one facing 180 degrees the opposite direction. If you're watching this video, you're likely familiar with the Deity D4 Duo, which I looked into that microphone, but uh, ended up choosing to go with this one. And there are a few reasons why I decided to go with this one over that one. So real quick, uh, we'll just show you close up what the box looks like. You can just pause the video if you want to read it. Um, there'll also be links in the description so that you can go and find it on Amazon and you can see more of it there. But this is the front of the box and uh, I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce it. Siren T-Mic. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it up and we'll see what we got. There's not a whole lot in here. So we have a couple, this is, what's really nice is that it actually comes with two foam covers and two dead cat covers. So we got the dead cats. It comes with the foam covers installed. Uh, we don't need that. And uh, it comes with a pouch. Uh, looks like some instructions in there. So for demonstration purposes, we're just gonna throw it on top of my Canon M50. And this uh, microphone is probably really ideal for like vlogging and where you'd be in front of the camera and then you flip it around and you're behind the camera. So this is what it looks like on top. And we have the two foam covers on here, obviously. And comparing it to the Rode Video Micro, it is, it's just shaped differently. So it's kind of hard to compare, but the dead cat on the video micro is a lot bigger. I have sold it so that I can buy this one. So I don't have it here to compare audio or size. I did use it when I was showing you the EOS R. I had it on the M50 and you can hear the amount of echo. It picked up a lot more echo. I was also mm, three to four feet away from the microphone. It has some nice features that are built into it. So like with the Deity D4 Duo, you would have to use a separate cord, which is um, either, to make it simple, either to use it with a camera or to use it with your phone. It uses a different type of cord. This one just uses one. And you have a switch on top of the microphone. And you can see the switches on top of the microphones. So there's two switches. One of them is to switch it from one microphone, which is just gonna be the, the forward facing, and then you can switch it to use both of them. The other switch is to use it with a camera or with your phone. So I like that feature. So it makes it really simple to use. So another, a couple of the problems that come with the D4 Duo, which if you've seen some of my other videos, you'll see that I just like taking the footage from the camera. I don't do a whole bunch of editing. I don't do any color grading. I just splice it together to make it coherent and then I upload it. Uh, I don't do much of anything with audio and I don't really do anything with color grading or anything like that. I want simple, I want easy, otherwise I'm not gonna do it. 
also, there's a lot of it that I don't know how to do, and I don't want to get into it right now. With the D4 Duo, it splits the audio, so the front and back splits it into left and right, which is stereo. So if you're talking in front of the camera, you're going to hear it on one side, and then you flip it around, and now you're going to hear it coming from the other side. Really evident when you're uh, watching videos using headphones. So you'd have to go into editing and fix that. I don't know how to do that, and I just don't, especially, it would be time consuming, and I don't want to mess with that. I just want to, like I said, I just want to be able to pull it from the camera, splice it together, and upload it. And from what I've noticed with this microphone is it doesn't do that. Another thing that I know with the D4 Duo is the rear microphone is, I believe, like 10 decibels quieter. Essentially, that means it's just it's recording the audio at a lower level because it expects that you're going to be closer to the microphone, whereas like this, you'd be far away from the microphone. It's trying to account for that. So we'll go ahead and turn the camera on. Uh, I'm just gonna walk around in here and uh, just hold the camera out. It is kind of empty in here and it does echo quite a bit. So we are switching over to the Canon M50 now. We have the uh, T-mic on top of it. I do have it in dual mic mode right now. I'll probably just leave it there because I'll forget to switch back and forth. So if we're just walking around with it, you can see that vlogging would be really easy. Um, that's what I like about the M50. It's super light and a lot easier to vlog with. As opposed to the EOS R, it's considerably heavier, but the picture just looks so much better. So if we're walking around, we can hear what the sound from the T-mic sounds like. Uh, we'll walk into the living room where the audio should change a little bit because we have furniture in here to absorb some of the sound. It shouldn't be as echoey. Um, hopefully you can hear that from the microphone. So now we're back in the dining room. As we get further away, I'm as far as I can reach out. Um, the audio does change. And then as we get closer, you can hear the difference in the audio. Playing with it, it did sound a little better when you got closer to it. Um, I'm probably about half arm length, arm's length right now. So that's where it's comfortable for me. Plus you should be able to see enough of my background that it's not just all face. So, but this is just too much for me to hold out. So this is a comfortable distance for me to hold the camera at. So now I'm gonna flip the camera around and act like I'm just showing you stuff in front of the camera and we'll see what the audio sounds like from the back. So we'll just act like I'm showing you stuff on my fish tank. Um, you can see some fish in here. I got mostly tangs and there are some corals in here. I have the microphone maybe one foot away from my face. We are still in the dining room, so there is a decent amount of echo in here, but now we can walk into the living room where it should, be, it should have less echo. We'll take a look at Chip and uh, see what Chip's doing. Chip! Hi, Chip. And Vern. And Scooter. We're missing one. Where's the other one? There she is! Hi, Rimshot! She's the favorite. She's the best dog. Right, Rimshot? We'll see if we can get her to do it. Rimshot. Bang, you're dead! Come on, you're dead! Bang, you're dead! So hopefully I was able to show you how this microphone sounds and the benefits of having it be dual direction. Um, I, I don't expect anything great out of it. It's not a, a really expensive microphone, but the price is good, the size is good. I, I like how it functions. The Deity D4 Duo at the time of this video is $90, and this T-Mic is $60, which is the same price as the Rode Video Micro. And for me, I would much rather have this one. So I guess that does it for this Tech Tuesday. If you are interested, like I said, I will put a link to this down in the description. I will also put a link to the Deity D4 Duo if, you want, if you're curious and want to check that one out. 
But for me, this serves my needs uh, as a uh, more of a vlogging microphone and as a backup microphone. This is obviously my primary microphone, but uh, if I need to, I definitely won't be afraid to grab this microphone. So if you see anything in these videos that you wanna know more about, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section and uh, we'll see if we can do a video on them. So until then, I will catch you on the next one. See ya.